Good morning. So it's day two. So it's gonna be day two of our gold event. Last night they told us that we were going to be caught up in a sandstorm. And so we all booked it to our hotels, tried to hide and make sure that we weren't gonna get stuck in the storm, but it ended up being a false alarm. So when everybody finally got together, it was a little bit later. So we didn't really get to hang out too much, but we got to talk, got to meet uh, some people that we hadn't seen in a while and I got to meet a lot of new friends. So it was really exciting meeting everybody that I hadn't met before. Had a really good time getting to know them, hearing their story and just excited to see new people coming in and doing things to create income online, help to change their lives. It's, uh, it's always really motivational and it's something that I never take for granted because I know that it does take work to, to pull together the resources and the time to do something like this. And so before I go in there, I just want to take a minute to, to talk about my biggest takeaway from yesterday. And that was seeing all the people who pulled together and, you know, despite what maybe critics had said or people had told them they couldn't do, or maybe even people who were, weren't believers and they just thought, you know, hey, that's probably a scam. I'm not gonna get involved getting past all of that and, and getting past the number one person who stands in our way, which is ourself. Um, we block ourselves from mostly everything. Sometimes we, we disguise that by blaming other people for getting in our way, but it's us because we have total control over what we decide to do. And once you accept that, and once you take responsibility for that, you realize that you have the power to change your life. And when I met everyone yesterday, I just realized that they all had taken their power back. They all decided that they were gonna do more in this life. They were gonna give more and they're gonna be more because that's what they, they were truly meant to do. And not everyone is here because they want more money. You know, I, I did meet a very nice person who was a doctor. Money wasn't an issue, but they wanted to give more. They wanted to fulfill a calling that they had to help people with education and learning how to change their lives. And I just thought that was awesome. This is the kind of thing that anyone can do and it's not just about earning more money. Um, and when you get around people that are like that, who are fearless and who already are you know, working in their jobs and are successful but just wanna do more, uh, it's really motivating. So yesterday that was my biggest takeaway and I woke up today feeling really good just knowing that I'm gonna spend a second day with people just like that who inspire me to want to live my best life and to be my best version of my best self um, but i'm gonna head into the gym now get this workout in and then uh i'm looking forward to day two so i'll check in with you later The craziest thing about recording yourself when you work out is how much of your form you notice. I'm noticing all kinds of different things that I want to correct. Um, but when you record yourself, and I recommend you do this, you, you definitely see all the little things that you don't notice when you're lifting the weight because of course the weight's heavy, so you're not thinking about anything else but getting the weight up. So if, if you're serious about protecting your body, if you really want to take your physique to the next level, I think it's crucial that you record your workouts, at least one of the exercises each set that you do just to make sure that your form looks good also some good advice that i got from a mentor of mine um, justin he said you know that the key is to not go too heavy i mean you you don't want to do that to your body one and two you can focus more on time under tension i mean so the amount of time up and down 
actually counts. That, that's, that tension on the muscle for that longer period of time is actually really beneficial too. It's not the only way to work out, but it is another great tool. So when you're starting out, you can lift some heavy. Don't go too heavy, of course, because like he said, you don't want to injure yourself. And I think that's great advice. I'm going to follow that. So I'm going to drop my weight a little bit. But if you can control the weight, then of course, keep progressing because progressive overload, you know, two and a half pounds, five pounds over time consistently will help you to get each of your lifts, whether it's bench press, squats, or bicep curls, will help you to get any of your lifts um, stronger. And as a result, you know, as a byproduct of that, you're going to obviously increase your muscle mass. So, I mean, it's not that simple. You obviously need to eat enough calories and do other things too, but and your hormones do play a, a great role in that, but um, the, the key that I'm saying is just to take advantage of all these different strategies, especially if you're new to working out. Um, it's better to learn how to do things the right way than to spend you know, five, six, 10, 15 years doing things the wrong way, injure yourself, or not get the, the results that you could get if you were practicing proper form. So that's my, my advice. If you see someone who has the body that you want, and you know that they, they've gotten it, got the body in a way that you want to get it as well, um, then you want to ask them for help, ask them for tips. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? I think that everyone loves flattery, so if you ask them, they're going to be happy and they're going to want to share their advice with you. All done with that. Now the real workout. Going down these three flights of stairs. That's how you weed out who's serious and who's not. Put three flights of stairs between the gym. Anybody who's crazy enough to climb these really wants to get a workout in, huh? So we're gonna probably hear from some people from the community, some of the top earners, some people who have inspired me to want to do this, people whose journey I watched, and the people that I said to myself, you know what, I want to be in their shoes come two, three, four, five years from now running multiple seven-figure businesses, living a life, taking care of their families, doing what's necessary, but making it look simple. Not making it look easy. None of them say that it's easy. None of them pretend to be gurus or experts. They're learning, they're students forever, just like us, but They've managed to reach a level of success that allows them to live a better lifestyle. I think time is obviously the most valuable asset, and that's the one of the things they have the most of, and it's what they do with that time that inspires me. So I'm not just looking to have a bunch of time to sit around. What I wanna do is create freedom in my life so that I have time to do the things that truly matter to me. I wanna help people. I wanna help myself and my family. I want to live life to the fullest, travel, see the world, meet all kinds of people all over the world. I've always felt a calling to do that. And I know that my purpose has something to do with helping people to realize, to wake up, to acknowledge that they have the potential to do anything with their lives. So hopefully that resonates with you. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, then you've got your own passions and your own calling and I want this to serve as a wake-up call that you can do it whatever it is that you want to do it may not be the easiest thing it may not come naturally to you but if it's what you really really want you cannot fail because the only way to truly fail is to give up or to quit and until you do that you're on the journey to wherever it is you're trying to get to so keep going. I'll check in with you later once we get to the event. Uh, day two, it's gonna be really exciting. And then we have one more day and that's the day where everybody comes together from all over the world for a one day event with some awesome speakers, some really fun things going on. So stay tuned.